Hey everyone, this is just a quick update on a couple of things. It's just bits here and there, but it's all relevant for you guys, for your twin flame. So um, I'm just going to jump straight in because of <laughs> hopefully it's short or I'll pop out. Um, now, first of all, I'm trying to think of how to get this more as a twin flame community. So I'm going to remove my image. I've got a couple of ideas. Um, I'm not getting nothing too flash, but um, I'm either going to put a sigil, which is what my sigil is for, represents what a twin flame is to me, which you lot should really do sigils. I might do a video about sigil, or the 1111, which is yet again relevant for tarot. And this is to do, my channel's really about getting you with your person and um, as you know the numbers i'm not really into all the numbers kind of thing well it's not that i'm not into it it's just that i don't really know some of you are really you know more um telepathic some of you are more into the numerology i just know that to me the twin flame is one 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 because in the tarot which i state the tarot is for twin flames one 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 represents represents all the aces which is all the beginnings which is the new start which is the you know ace of wand ace of cups ace of swords ace of pentacles so that's what the 111 means you want to have the new beginning with all of that that's what it represents in tarot which is why i'm doing my own deck speaking of my own deck i had a few people melanie hi melanie emailed me and said um she's already got all of my stuff can she just buy the tarot deck now the tarot deck isn't really ready yet i'm still kind of working on it but the thing is is that it, everything's kind of in timing as well with twin flames so if i'm working on it then you could buy i would suggest the uh, original wide i think it's wide wake something like that um deck because that is what um the authentic tarot is about for example if you look at the hierophant card within the original tarot tarot they have two people and they're twins in the actual height that's the um high hierophant card is which i state you know is the um Hierophant and the High Priestess is the two um, couples of the Twin Flame. And within the Hierophant cards, you see two exact people with child twins. So if you want to practice that, that's um, that's a good one to start. And um, whilst you're tapping into your intuition, so time I actually produce the cards, you'll be good to go. If I've done it now, you might just go into that and come off your path. So I'm just stating because of people still emailing me. Um, I do understand that um, most people don't really, like I said about the mission, what you want to do, what your purpose is. So hence why they're pushing me to do the cards so that you can kind of just start and incorporate other things that you want to do with it, which is a good thing. But why I'm um, also coming away from the channel is... It's not that I'm leaving the channel, it's just that I don't want you guys to be thinking as me as the main one. Previously before, I had this guy called Walter, and I had him linked to my page, who done tarot. But um, it's not about me. For example, if Luna Ash done her own, she has a channel, and say she was introducing me. You would still think Aluna Ash is the main one. And I don't want to be known as the main one. The purpose of me is to get loads of you out there. That's why I'm creating the cards and giving you all the stuff. So that you can go and create your own channel. And the reason why I'm doing that as well. Is because you will target far more people than what I probably will. Because I like to keep it small. So that I can kind of make sure that you're fully ready and then when you go then more comes in they're very good they target you know they they cut back that's what i'm saying when you tap tap into your intuition and your guides that you know i just tell them you know back off 
don't give me too many bookings and stuff like that and it works out for me but you guys might be okay with having loads of people you know i really focus on the big long reading you know going to dl's the last one i done i can't pronounce her name i'm really sorry and i like to say names as well um was an hour and a half you know you might just want to do a little quick update and um, add additionals because donna hi donna mentioned that um with my i can't remember if it was the inner child's audio that she um had incense <laughs> is it basic words like i can't even pronounce uh, anyway she burnt uh that and it helped her as well so that's what i'm saying you can incorporate extras when you do my tarot and yes this is why i was going back to melanie melanie emailed me and said she's got everything else can she just buy the tarot cards and the oracle cards that is the intention everything i send you keep it if you're planning to do tarot cards and then um you hopefully create your own channel because everyone is individual and so that it's not the focus is on me because of you all spread out there and hopefully open your own channel so take this time now whilst i'm still creating them to practice opening up your um intuition more now i'm going to hit on to the intuition because um you guys probably all know about the uranus transit now the taurus thing now I, i've touched on it but it's absolutely huge and i'm just checking anything else that i've got in my notes oh yeah okay uranus is um uh, important to do with twin flames because i mentioned before it's to do with um our intuition uranus is intuition and revolutionary things and that's what you're here to do particularly if you're hitting on my page now because like i said i do keep it small intentionally if I back off from videos, it's because I'm feeling I'm getting too much um, queries, attention, and I try to keep it small to pull you in because I want to really make sure you're on your journey before you open up another channel or whatever so you can teach your experience. So as I go back to Uranus is to do with Twin Flames because not only is it into intuition and, and revol revolution bloody heck <laughs> it's the fool's journey uranus is ruled by the um the full card which is twin flames so it's absolutely important that i kick ass for you lot because you lot are the new leaders for the new seven there it's transiting for seven years so you lot are going to be the teachers for the teachers for the teachers because of um the fool's journey obviously is tarot uranus is the fool's card fool's journey so it's all connected that's what i'm saying everything's for a reason now um i had lewis hi lewis i saw your comment i haven't got time as such to reply to them i'm working on the staff situation for that but you said you left a comment now <clears throat> i do state I, I don't know if i say it all the time but when you do a reading with me that's your reading so if you look at the the, the readings that i do during the week like i put posted some yesterday that's for the collective so um don't worry too much because you said something about you're not doing something because i said specifically not for you to do it if i yeah when i do a reading i pinpoint what you should really do so don't worry what i say in the reading but you had something to do with so romantic gesture because i said in one of the readings i can't remember which one it is <coughs> and we generally forget our readings <coughs> even taurus and i'm a taurus i don't remember what i say because of it's kind of channeled so <coughs> a romantic gesture when that's what you said lewis and lewis has booked me so i like to answer questions here everything i say is it could be related to you 
now or in the future anyway. So it doesn't matter if you think, oh, well, I'm answering the question just for one of you. No, it's relevant for all of you anyway. Now, <laughs> I think the card, which is a soulmate card anyway, that's why I'm creating my own cards, says do the romantic gesture. And I said this in another video. You match your person, whatever they do. They don't say they love you. You don't say that you love them. If they don't cuddle you, you don't cuddle them. If they're not buying you flowers, chocolates and stuff, you don't do that. Now, here's why. Because soulmates do that. And your person is supposed to just come to you knowing that you're the one they want without anything. They may or may not get in flowers, chocolates, cuddles, kisses, I loves you over where they are. Now, that's irrelevant. A twin flame is about unconditional love. Unconditional love is nothing having nothing. As long as your person loves you <laughs> without you doing a thing, that's what you have to kind of understand, you see? So that, because, I'll put it this way, if you buy loads of things, say, I'll put it in, I don't like to talk about you guys, so I'll talk about my person. <laughs> don't like to talk about him too much either. If I bought my person so many gifts, flowers, chocolates, romantic gesture, then he might think, shit, you know, that might slide in time. He might get used to that and I can't do it all the time. You know, he might um, feel like, oh, my gosh, I can't afford to buy, you know, her flowers, chocolates, take her out. You know, so the Oracle cards and everything I use is really tricky because I have to go over it, which is taking me longer because of, they're not targeted for twin flames. <laughs> All the cards that are created are for soulmates. So particularly if you take a reading, um, don't worry about what I state so much on the readings that come up. Because, it, you know, you've got your own targeted point of view. But I thought I'll mention it in case anyone else is kind of thinking, oh, what else should I do for the romantic gesture? It's a kind of a, um, a fine line of telling them, making them know, aware that you're into them without actually doing anything. That's unconditional love. They're supposed, he, he or she's supposed to really be thinking, wow, you know, they get the aha moment. I can just sit there in the room with Sophia and do nothing and she makes me happy. That's the twin flame. That's what you're supposed to be showing them. But the romantic gesture is for, in that region particularly, is when someone is saying something like, oh, recognising their person is not saying I love you because they don't necessarily, you know. If they do, top result, Lewis. Yep. <laughs> but generally they don't say anything. So in that scenario, the other person was intentionally not saying anything because they recognised that that person wasn't saying anything. That's not correct. That's not correct. If your person doesn't say they love you, what you have to do, which I'm going to go into again here now, see, I said it's going to be short, is word it differently. For example, I would say on this channel, I absolutely love of my person. I've never said to him, I love you. That's the difference. I'm saying it kind of in a third <laughs> way, you know, in a, in a, you know, in different ways. It's not directly to him. So he doesn't feel, you know, that I'm saying it to his face to make him feel uncomfortable. And did you hear what I said? I love off my person. That's completely different than saying, I love you. There's pressure. And talking about that, the words are very, very important. Hence why I'm going to put us, maybe do a video about sigils. That's why I said I'm going to do a sigil, my own personal sigil, instead of my picture. Remove my picture. Because I used to call it Sophia Charles Tarot. Then I made it the Twin Flame Community. Now I want to come back and incorporate you guys a bit more. But, yeah, this, the words are a manipulation of form. And if you get in union without understanding tarot, it's just that you've just 
tapped into your intuition and pulled back. Because I got into union with my person within two to three months with self, not with my person, with self. But I just followed my intuition, you see. So other people might say, oh, yeah, say this and say that without up, with on subconsciously knowing that they actually didn't really do what I'm telling you. They didn't recognize what they were doing. They were just pulling back. So my point is I'm going to do an audio. So look out for that, guys, um, over the weekend about what to say, because that is extremely important in the twin flame as well. Because like I said, words are a manipulation of form. And if you pressure them, they run. But if they don't feel like you're interested, they take longer. So it's really hard. So I'm going to try to, because I notice as well that most of you are trying your best to try to back off. But the words you still state is intimidating for your person. Absolutely. And you think you're saying it in the best possible, nicest way, as short as possible, it's still intimidating. Like I said, how I said, you know, I would say to my person, miss you long time. I would add on a little bit extra so he doesn't, you know, have to feel that he has to reply. He misses me too. And then I would absolutely put something else onto it. But I'm going to do an audio and send that to you um, over the weekend. If you don't get it, or because of like I said I'm really busy and stuff just email me audio please something like that and if you've lost all my stuff if you want to do the tarot when I actually um, release the tarot don't worry I'll send you all the stuff <laughs> you know you don't have to like collect it and stuff you just have to <clears throat> If you're really interested in that, because they're telling me that, you know, you lot don't know what to do, but I generally believe you're going to be kind of like me anyway. Start thinking of extras like Donna from Facebook. Um, is, you know, additional stuff you might want to do on top of it to make it your own little flick. <laughs> you know, like she said, Sage, she said, in sense. Why can't I say face it first? See, this is a manipulation of form and often 5D, you see? So I can't pronounce things. Now, I had someone who cussed me off raw on Facebook yesterday. <laughs> big time, big time. <laughs> yeah, of course I cussed her back and then uh, blocked her. But my point is, it, did, it doesn't make me pissed off in the sense if someone says anything bad or when I get thumbs down. It just frustrates me to the point that that is my intention or your to show everyone that it doesn't because she was like you you're so vulgar because you're not swearing <laughs> loads she's like you're so vulgar and all this and she started getting horrible that stuff you know it really doesn't bother me but <sighs> it doesn't matter if i swear or not it doesn't it's all about truth it's about truth and that woman totally missed the point she just felt to react and leave a nasty comment and i'm like that's my whole point of why i do swear of why i look like this why i can't pronounce words i'm not standing up here professional because you have to show others that doesn't matter what they look like or if they can talk or not if they you know they swear if they got blue he hair or stuff like that you know what I mean so she totally missed the point so it was good that she done that so I kind of remind you because once again I'm trying to pull back from being the front end of the channel to show you guys that you lot can do it I'm here to tell you that you can do what I'm doing and I think you really want to do what I'm doing if I'm honest that's why I'm giving you all the stuff to do it, <laughs> you know, but I did think that, yeah, if you create, if I could give you shout outs, but that's still defeating the object because of, can you imagine how many people are on here now and how many subscribers is every one of you created your own channel with my stuff plus your own additional stuff? How many other twin flames will we get? into union you see 
with me keeping it small and trying to really do a one-to-one -one with answering people like Lewis and stuff like that, it's harder for me. So you could come to me when you start your channel because I'm keeping it small, but then spread out more. So that's my intention. So I just wanted to tell you that. Um, oh, also, I'm trying to incorporate, like I said, you more. So I'm going to take my picture off. Um, I had an idea and it's up to you if you want to do it. But you know when I do the, um, <clears throat> you kind of put thumbnails in. You know when you look at the videos, there's all these kind of thumbnails with all these images. And, I, and like I said, I'm coming away from my picture because I don't want to be the main focus. So I thought, I asked for your images when you do book a reading. So um, if you want, it's totally up to you. And obviously, you're going to have to resend it to me. But I was thinking about, say, for example, Erin. I've done a reading with Erin lately, which I've got to talk about again. And she sent me a picture of herself. You can send a picture of yourself and your flame. Um, and say she's a Libra, for example. When I do a Libra star sign, then I would put her picture on there. If i done a Taurus star sign, say Lewis is Taurus, then I would put him. So when you look coming to this, you will see all different pictures of all the community. So you will relate and feel that, oh, there's someone else and stuff like that. So that's up to you. If you want, if you don't mind, or I'll just, I'm going to change up, put in my face. That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to try to put, I just might just leave the, because they default images, but I tried to do, initially, obviously, I had to try to make it pretty-ish, market it a little bit to get people, because I wouldn't have got jack shit. Now I'm at the stages that I don't want to do any of that. I don't want the focus to be me, because you're all like me. So um, that's why I thought of, oh, okay, or also the header as well. I might have loads of, put all your images together, like a collage. I think that's what it's called. Uh, you know, the header image and just put load because I can I can create that and put all your images together. So my point is, so you can, when you come on here, you don't see me, you see everyone. Because if I want it more as a community, that's what I'm trying to say. Um... Oh, well, um, Lewis as well said he stopped doing something. I was going to say, well done, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, um, oh, who rebooked me? Someone booked me, Erica. Now, I thought about that. You are tarot. You are tarot. So you're going to be absolutely pulled to tarot. And Erica, you're doing well. You're doing well, but as with everything, I try to kind of see the meaning to it. You may want to rebook me because when I didn't do tarot at all, I used to bug my sister daily. <laughs> you know, I done it for that was before you know the first stages. You know, I used to bug her daily. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? You know, with my person. What's he up to, you know? But you know, not in a invasive way. For my person, you know, what shall I do? What shall I do? I ain't heard nothing, you know, you know what it's like. Anyway, so you're gonna want to do that. And then even when I got my own cards, I still the reading, if you booked a reading with me, I would never do that on my person because of I feel like you know he's too much because <laughs> he's there, <laughs> you know what I mean. But my point is, I still check on myself what I have to do. I ask my guides and stuff like that. I still check tarot sometimes because sometimes they give me ideas and things so that I can um, put things together. So it's kind of like if you go for like, I don't know, Reiki or something to fix, you know, your back, your backache, you know. You might have to go a couple more times, is what I'm trying to state. I'm not pushing you to rebook, but don't feel bad if you want to, because of it's really hard. It's really, you lot have to understand, this journey is really hard, 
and I have my own cards to check daily, you know, and that's personal for me, for what I have to do. So I'm not saying you have to book me daily, but I'm just saying maybe that's something that you have to think about. And if it, you want to do that, I'll think of like a cheaper plan, installment plan, you know, I'll, I'll figure something out. But you guys are the teachers. And like I said, with this Uranus now, it's like, whoosh, twin flames are major now. Twin flames are major. And you guys are going to be the teachers to get, you're going to be doing like me, getting people in union. No one fucking gets people in union. You're going to be like me. That's amazing. And so, like Erica rebooked me. So when she, for example, say Erica bought my cards and she bought, created her own channel and someone's struggling, like Erica feels she's struggling, she can say to that person, look, maybe rebook me because when I was going for your journey, I had to rebook a, for a couple of times. Do you see? Everything you do is for a reason for you to help someone else get into union, which is the um the purpose revolutionary whatever for this uranus that's going on now so you're part of that i had um an email from Trin trina katrina katrina's really good she's in mission she's she's doing um meetups with twin flames <laughs> which is really good so um and she sent me um someone else who has a community called guided by angels now she this lady is no fluff no fluff she's kind of like me she just gets up and she talks but she talks more about dragons and arch angels and god so if you're more into that i'm not saying i'm not into that but <laughs> the only thing i have with religion and god and stuff is that it, I, I it's me <laughs> i find that you know god says this is external you focus on the external where everything is god is you god is within you so that's all but that's you know but we're all different up in air so if you want to know more about you know archangel michael and all this she talks about and like i said she says she's a community she also which is brilliant talks about her person which no one else does you can't tell if you're with someone unless you're talking about them and you know how hard this journey is so you know regardless of even of me or that woman we still have to go through the same stuff we don't get um squeezes because we're trying to get you with your person we still go through the same stuff that you go through you see so if they're staying there with their staying there with their person and they talk to them regularly i emailed my person today um i don't know what he's doing he's so busy so i'm going to try to get him involved but <clears throat> who knows and like i said i'm not making any changes to the retrograde anyway but uh, when that's done and that's the 28th and then I heard that there's a shadow after that to the 15th or 18th of April. I'm like, am I going to get any help? <laughs> so what did I do? They pulled back on people booking me, which is brilliant. So I can do more stuff. I want to get these cards out. But anyway, so, um, yeah, if you want to go look at that channel and let me see what else. Oh, Erin. Yeah. Um, I mentioned her in the audio the other day. Now, I have a lot of you that I really feel connected to. In fact, most of you that book me, I do have some kind of, oh, wow, you're going to be doing this. And like I said, you're all going to have your uniqueness. I've had two readings with people. One was Ruba, who had the, the notebook version of a twin flame, which the notebook is about twin flames, right? The drama and the deep love and um but erin was extremely important because hers was um the exact of what a twin flame is because the notebook you could see the the love from the guy him running up hugging kissing saying i love you and all that kind of thing 
which is Erin was the op the opposite, not that you weren't loving towards her, but is what a true twin flame is because they couldn't portray that in the movie or the no notebook because it's all hidden. And uh, your person is um, generally suppressing stuff not to tell you. So she needs to somehow write a book or do something about that because her person loved her so, so deep but she didn't know that and that's what this planet is about the unknowing but she could feel it but she was confused i'm sorry erin but i did ask i said i'm going to be talking about her but <laughs> she was the classic twin flame situation but my point is just like erin she might have to write a book or do something different and get out there so I want you all to kind of think about different things that you might want to do in addition to doing tarot. But definitely if you're interested in doing it, yes. I'm not pushing my cards. I didn't expect to do them. It wasn't, but like I said, it's, it's, it's quite hard because all the cards are stated for soulmates but like i said the one 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 even example people know that it is represented as for a twin flame because the four of wands is the twin flame beginning the stable beginning but no one really goes into the deepness of it which you being a twin flame then being a teacher and then i will give you the cards which you can explain that in your reading but also tapping into your ownness to direct to the collective who you pull into your channel. Plus, create your own book. You can use all my other stuff. Will no doubt get more people in union. So have a think about that. Try to buy your own deck. You don't have to do the tarot. I'm just saying. But yes, definitely um, what I'm going to try to do is sell the the tarot cards, the oracle cards, and all the other additional stuff. Like I said, now I'm still I'm doing an audio on the words, how to speak, correct, not correctly, differently, <laughs> lighter to your person. All of that will be in one set of a bundle for someone who hasn't booked me. Say the soul, other tarot readers say, like, for example, Sal. I doubt very much you would buy it, but I don't know too many tarot readers out there, and he's quite popular, so you might know him. If he wanted to purchase, there's going to be a price for him to purchase the whole package. So other tarot readers can now say, look, this reading is for Twin Flames, because what they do is they say soulmate and Twin Flames. Unless you're on the level which you lot will be, like me and the Lunar Ash, we can kind of incorporate it as such. You can't really say that. So they can do their own like choice of to do for Twin Flames or Soulmates. Or the other packet, if you booked me, you just have to buy the cards and, you know, the Oracle cards and the Tarot cards. So, yes, it's no point. I'm not going to, you know, rip you off. So um, think about that. Think, of, so think about other ideas. If you really want to do it, um, yes, obviously, buy some decks. Um Try to tap into your intuition. Um, uh, that's it, think. I think. Hold on. Yeah, that's it. Just, just want to say, yeah, it is hard. It generally. You probably don't want to hear this. I'm going to say it. Because <laughs> I'll go through it as well. You lot think I don't go through it. It's to the very end that you get the your person. When you're totally in mission, your purpose, when you've got rid of all the family members, when it doesn't bother you when you get a reply to the sense that you can get back on work and not worry about what's going on with them, you're not really helping them as much. It's, it's generally at the very end, that's when you get your, oh, okay, she's done the work now. 
you can have your person. And that is intentional because if not, you will get pulled back into focusing on your person. It's just natural. It's just natural because they're like, uh, you know, the drug. So you get codependent on wanting them because they make you feel so good. So they make sure that you do absolutely everything for yourself to the point that so you don't be codependent on them. That's just how it is. It's just how it is. Because this, this planet is taught that. Focus on your children. Focus on your partner. And then you don't end up doing what you want to do. That's why you, ha you have to work out what you really want to do. So that's the little changes, the little update so far. I'm going to try to get some cards out at the weekend. But like I said, I'm working on the communication audio, which I'm going to send to everyone that's booked me. And if you want to have another booking, yeah, really think about that because it's tough. And it's tough so that you can tell you can tell your teachers, <laughs> you know, I'm telling you my experience of sort. So don't worry if you need another. And also it's a relief. Um, tarot relieves you, you know, and when you go, oh, I'm waffling, but I'm going to finish here. I want to state this because tarot is in the future. We tell your future. Hear the word future <laughs> so if you go on something like my reading yesterday generally that's what's going to happen in about a month so go on to not my page well if you can my page and all other tarots go back about six weeks it depends on the reader i think i've only found really one or two that are really good and spot on but generally that's why i don't put dates because of 4d there's no time there's no time on this planet. So how can they put from now to the 24th and all that? Because this, this planet has no time, you see? Time's an illusion. You can't. You're multi-dimensional beings. So how can you say I'm here at 1 o'clock, but be in the middle of the ocean at 1 o'clock? You can't. But anyway, I, I was going to do about time, but that I think that's a bit complex. My point is... Um, so with the tarot, go back, um, who you watched, go back about six weeks, four to six weeks, and you're probably where you are now. Here's another tip. Go back two or three months. Then you will see, yeah, that happened. So you can see that they're actually good or not. Generally, they are, but you don't understand it because you're... Um, it's weird because we live in the now and there's no time on the planet. So what's happening is when they're saying something like the readings I've done yesterday, because of t there's no time on this planet, is an illusion, you're feeling the resonance of what's going to happen because it is going to happen. So, But because we're so like we want the everything now, we think it's going to happen now. It's not in the now. We're called uh, uh, fortune and future tellers, right? <laughs> you know, for the future. So go and look two months back and then if you think, yeah, that did happen, then it generally is going to happen. There's another tip with tarot. Hold on. Um, ah. Also, another thing to think about is don't forget tarot is your um, potential outcome. Now, I can say to you, you can um, earn a million pounds. You, you can. But you still have to get off your ass and do the action. Do you know what I mean? So it is your potential outcome. So don't just sit there because they say, yeah, your person's coming towards you. Um, he's going to give you communication. And then you're going to get the ten of cups. Because that's what's confusing. Because you think, oh, well, that's a guarantee because it's going to happen. But yeah, I can sit here and say, oh, look, yeah, you can make a million pounds. A million pounds is going to come to you. You can. But you still have to take the action steps, you see. So don't confuse it because of it's your potential outcome, Tarot. So if they say, yeah, look, the end goal is the Ten of Cups. That is. Every reading I do, this is the potential for you. 
but it doesn't mean that oh okay because i've said it so it's gonna be so that's your free will and then your choice to do it so remember that as well doesn't mean oh yeah sophia said you know it's gonna happen or whatever tarot reader because they can be pretty much spot on but then like i said you need to take the action steps and the action steps particularly with twin flames is very complex and that's just because this planet is is so manipulated you see so that is the intention so yes it's hard because you are teachers you are not just a soulmate getting into a, a relationship union is far bigger than that so it's going to be harder than that so whenever you get pissed off or you're stressed just remember you're here to teach you're here to teach not necessarily the people that you get into union will teach you lot are the teachers you might just get someone in union and they go and do reiki do you see what i mean but you lot up in here are definitely more so of the teachers that's why it's harder for you so remember that when the shit hits the fan or when you're struggling and stuff like that it's going to be harder because you have to be a kind of a a lighter version of me i'm raw and i'm tough because i've got to kick your ass because you're you're you need to get people into union so you need to know to stand up because people are naturally lazy because of the illuminati how they put it there to you so i just what is it like i said i couldn't really make a video particularly on one topic because there's loads of different topics but still there's stuff that i think will be useful for you to hear so um this week yep i didn't really get to have my time off i but they um gave me a bit of time off <laughs> so i'm still behind on my emails like i said i'm working out to get people but i don't want them to really start until the retrograde thing's done so um that's it so yeah if you don't get a reply obviously if you book me i will reply but the questions you know because i say to you come back to me come back to me those replies might take a bit longer for me to get back to you which everything's intentional because generally you work it out to get back to you anyway you know so don't worry about it but that's why i'm trying to give you loads of loads of stuff so you can kind of do it for yourself okay i'm out hopefully this was good for you i'll try to do some cards over the weekend and thanks for listening <laughs>